to understand your behaviour and how to tell you to do you have already had all these questions answered directly by the officers, etc. And I'm not really willing to be. You're working in a public capacity, love. Street switch photography. Good morning, Melton Mowbray YouTube and Facebook. We're on a gorgeous day in Melton Mowbray on Saturday, the 12th of October, 2024. And I'm with Mr. Considered himself. Good morning. Morning, Christian. How are you? Not too bad yourself? Yeah, all well, good. I'm a bit damp, actually, is it? Case, yeah, it is a little it? moist, uh, isn't I've it? Just got, a, just got a question your, uh, your statement about it being a beautiful morning in well. Melton. <laughs> I think dank and uh, damp is probably a better description, but we're, we're here, aren't we? So we are. We turned off. We're alive the and we're thing. breathing, and we're we're um, uh, you know me mentally agile and alert. So that's good. So what we're going to be doing is, if we look over here, we've got the independent tent, and we're going to be going over, and um, a considered man's going to go and ask them some questions. So let's do it, shall yeah, we? Okay, let's take a Let's walk. see what happens. I did say it was going to be more interesting videos, not just me doing stri boring street photography. But uh, today should be quite an interesting day. They're genuine questions and this considered knows his stuff. So this is the independent tent councillors, as you can see. I'll send an email. Yeah, okay then, let's them. I'll come round this side so everybody can see. Morning. No, no, we're just here to make ourselves accessible to the yeah. people. Yeah, so you, are you both counters on the... Um, Non-borough council. And you're both yeah. on the independent side of things as well. Yeah, so we don't have a political party <coughs> to, to generate anything, so we, we're here to keep people as they want to be oh, yeah. So you are councillor? Great. Great, and you're... I oh, am, yeah, well, so I am. Yeah. So I've got a couple of questions that I might uh, like to ask you about uh, antisocial behaviour and how's it to you. You've already had all these questions answered directly by the officers, etc. And I'm not really willing to be. You work in a public capacity, love. Thank you. So you work public? Yeah. Okay, so, so, uh, yeah. Can we adjourn this until we can meet formally? We'll be probably done with I'd rather not. I'd rather get some questions now. Well, I mean, all we're going to do is. Can I ask a question? Why do you work? Why do you work for the public if you're not willing to speak to the public? And uh, we have significant uh, concerns with antisocial behaviour uh, within Hats and Stock. Yeah. Well, well, yes, but the, the problem that we have for uh, uh, Council of Arts is that nothing effectively has been done about it. We have uh, Sharon Butcher as a Lord Councillor, who's the Vice Chair of the uh, um, Safe Community Partnership, and she's done absolutely nothing, apart from making a few phone calls. She's not uh, followed it up. The lady that is uh, in a very difficult position in terms of antisocial behaviour is uh, uh, on the way to a second suicide attempt. Are you he actually hearing what I'm saying? A second suicide attempt, okay. And we've got the council 18 months later still doing nothing. Now, I'd like to know what you think about camera. Is it the lady that commits suicide? I'd also like to know what you might think about that, both of you, actually. Because you are supposed to be holding the council to account. Council, because that's one of your roles, isn't it? So, would you like to make comments on that or would you not like to make comments on that? It's your opportunity to say what you would do and how you hold councillors to account. So, I'm with you. Well, walking up with a camera unannounced, unannounced, and sort of asking questions that I haven't got a briefing on, I don't. Could I, could no, I just, no, I mean. Could I just yeah. say we are more than happy to meet you in an arranged meeting without the camera going? And we'll have an honest and open discussion about it. Would you like to say when you could uh, make yourself available, both of you, to do that, please? Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the, in the, what you're talking about is not my area of knowledge, but I mean, I'm more than happy to be at that meeting. Always happy to be there. No, I mean, that's why we're making ourselves accessible. Okay. Can I just make my intentions known? I'm not here to make anybody feel uncomfortable. Uh, no. I'm here as independent. I'm, well, I do apologise, but you are on camera when you're down doing your things down Melton Borough Council, that's live streamed. You're working in a public capacity as well. I'm not arguing, love. I'm not arguing. 
I was just making my intentions known that there's no threat or anything yeah. like that. All right, mate. Have the yeah. people with the knowledge. Thank just you. Just so you know. No, no problem. No, we're, I mean, it's, 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 it's the, that's uh, why we were here. We're certainly present both of you in now to, uh, to sort of make that try and happen. But uh, antisocial behaviour is not just a, a, an issue. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's an issue which does need to be resolved properly. Yeah. But uh, you're obviously. talking about particular cases which uh, well, we don't know about. Yeah. The general, uh, uh, you know, well, ASB I, problem, I yes, we all know and we're all, we're all yeah. trying to address. Well, I'm also going yeah. to get this more general issues which are to do with the, um, part of the reason that antisocial behaviour exists in the of the state, which is that uh, yeah. the yeah. officers uh, are failing to adhere to their own allocations policy, for example. Oh, okay. Now, in their allocations policy, which uh, you probably don't know about now, but I'm sure you'd like to... No, but that, that's attention. why I'm sort of saying, yeah, yeah. if this is a good introduction so we can talk properly yeah. and they can talk with... So, because I don't want to say something that I don't know about, I don't, you know, no, no, no. and it, that just that's all sort of frustrating for everybody for me to come out with something. I'm not a politician, I'm not going to come out with Oh, you are, you're a politician. Well, that's, you are a politician. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, the that's the nature of the, uh, that's the nature of the big No, well, yeah, so we, have different, we have a different, we have a different definition of politician. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. So right. No, but that means I'm not part of a political party, and that's why I'm independent. Because I, I want to do what you know. Was we were all we were voting in because we wanted to do something for the borough, not because I want to do something for a political party. I don't want to, you know. As, as, yeah, Marcus, the sort of the leader of the group I'm in, but. She, she very well knows that I've got my own opinion uh, about different Everybody's entitled to a different view though, aren't they? It's about debate at the end of the day. We do the best we possibly can, and yeah. at some point yeah. there are restrictions and it's not a lot we can do. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, that's it's, it's like a super tanker. You can't. You don't turn a super tanker around in, in town. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Not a good idea, especially on icy roads. Well, I'm sure that that's the case. I mean, I, I look at things in quite a lot of detail. I'm sure you've worked out who it is that I am. Um, and, uh, you know, I will be concerned the council on various issues. Uh, it's not only to do with antisocial behaviour, which is uh, obviously a serious issue, because I get people approaching me now in Morris and asking about additional issues to do with that antisocial behaviour, where some people have made over a thousand phone calls to Mount Borough Council, for example, making complaints about antisocial behaviour. And there's a massive disconnect between what's actually going on when the phone call is made and the teams that deal with it, there's supposed to be a, there's a community safety team within Mount Borough Council. In the case I'm talking about now in St John's Court, it's been an 18 month case and their leader of the, uh, of the, um, the safety group within uh, the council has only been made aware of it in the last two weeks. And they work for the same organisation. So you as councillors need to be made aware of the fact that your officers are either being very economic with the truth with you or you're choosing as a group of councillors to ignore what's going on. Now, your vice, your, your uh, councillor Butcher, for example, she's the vice chair of the safety, safety of communities, um, and she's not looking at this, she's dropped it like a whole potato, which is not accessible. <laughs> I'm not asking you to make comment about the individual. Not, we are not going to make comment. No, I'm, what I'm asking. In, in a, in a, no, but what you've done, you've made us aware, and that was uh, we've like offered a meeting. So. Okay, well that's yeah. fair. And also uh, one of the things that uh, we also need to be aware of is that the red um, system down at Number Council has been through before. Um, it's uh, sending out letters uh, which are rather unkind and and also uh, are worrying people. Where the figures on those um, those red letters are actually wrong, people being threatened with uh, professional when when out on those red letters are wrong. Uh, this is something I've raised uh, on a number of occasions. Yeah. So I assume sometime down the line you're going to actually stand. I am uh, absolutely not going to stand because you see why the not? thing is, I'm the, not. It's a system. <laughs> it's no, but, but it's too much work. It's a flawed system. system from the inside or from the outside. Uh, I'm uh, do, do, well, you know, do, do you take a position outside. where, or well, I can take any opinion, but I've got no responsibility to help to move that forward? Well, I do take responsibility. Well, no, that's why I'm on. That's why I'm on. And these things are going to be the housing ombudsman. And you need systems that exist to hold specific councils to account using the formal complaints procedure. But you're taking none of the responsibility yourself. Well, no, because you're not willing to sort of, you know, all you really want to do is maybe come along and sort of not bounce on people. I'm, I'm, again, I'm not trying to hold it. So I'm going through the same decision process I did, you know, when I decided to become a councillor. This is the first time I've ever been a councillor, the first time I've ever wanted to be a councillor. It's because I wanted to change things. Yes, but you see the yeah, thing is, in order to be you have to be allied to a certain political party no, to be perfect. Well, I don't think... No, that's, that's, I think that's what well, we're proving. Well, well I don't, I yeah. don't think the... the this, this, level level of, this level of politics, you want to call it, but the Borough Council, 
you should be interested about the borough. You should not be interested about a political party. Oh, I'm interested. That's got nothing to do with how do we make this place but a better place. In order place. to campaign, you have to campaign as being aligned with a certain group. And I think all of you uh, fail. Do you mean like what left wing, right wing, centre well, I mean, ground? It's either an independent or as a Tory or as a, a Why? Well, not at this level. We're yeah. talking about borough, borough yeah, council, I don't like and even in even a county council. Yeah. You should be more interested yeah. in what you're doing for the area you live in and the area you're representing than any political party. I should, you know. There's things that the government need to do, and they, yes, the political party is probably the best way to do it, whether I align, align with any one of them or not. At this level, hopefully I get to know most of the people that vote for me. You know, and because I'm there, they know my face, I should be walking around it. I'm not going to say anything, but have you seen our, have you seen our local MP? Have you talked to our local MP? Never uh, seen him. Yeah. Uh, no, not. I've, I'm I've got a number of videos of knocking on his door and he still won't answer because I want to interview him personally. <laughs> no, no, but, you know, and I'll actually go over to Syston and, and do it if I have to. You know, if you're going to actually be, be a challenge, these things, I mean, you know, win. You should, you should be able to, if you've got to work on the system, which is right, and agree with what. Well, if you, 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 I'm not saying your opinions are your opinions, my opinions are my opinions. I, I'm not, I'm not yeah. suggesting that you should absorb my opinions or operate it in that, in that no. long term. No, no. What I am saying is that my experience of the system, which you're encouraging me to take part with it, I believe to be correct. <laughs> Um, uh, in essence, uh, every uh, issue I have with the council, I ultimately, because the council circle their wagons, right, and say nothing to see here, and continually kick the ball down into the long grass. What I'm saying to you is I have to take independent action by going to people like the housing ombudsman or the local government and social care ombudsman, yeah. because council, the council officers, even at a senior level with De Coverley and uh, Michelle Howard, for example, they are finding in their duty to actually run that council effectively. And the problem is, is that you only get the council that you deserve if you're not standing up and holding the to account. And I'm saying to you that the system as it currently exists do not properly hold the uh, council to account. And also they don't... But you're not willing to actually then get involved in that to try and make a change. All you want because to do is actually good. make um, films to, saying that you want that to happen. But, 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 well, and then all you're doing is actually making complaints or you're phoning or you, you know, you're writing emails or whatever. Well, actually making but that, complaints that is, to the house number to is a formal way of... Yeah, no, it's it great. Complaint. But, but, but it, it means... It, it, you can just walk away and do something else. The idea is to follow the rules. Well, I'm in here doing it now. No, no. Um, and there are lots of other issues to do with the way that the council performs, which again, uh, Mount Borough uh, council officers need to be held to account on. And also the councils, which are supposed to be operating on the basis that you are elected by people that live here. Uh, I'm not saying you are, and I'm not saying you are, but there weren't my experience of councils this far, uh, apart from people like Randy Brown and Joe Orson, for example. Um, so I think we've just, you just aligned yourself with two people that aren't here. <laughs> Aren't talking to people, aren't moving around. So, well, so now I understand some of your motivation. Why? Do you think because I'm motivated by what? Well, by the fact that they're no longer in charge of the number of council, and therefore they find a. No, but they're supposed to hold uh, the council to account as, as a. As yeah. yeah. You, so, you how do you ask those council? the same questions? Do you, do you meet council council? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I've, I've met Joe on a couple of uh, occasions, and we'll be meeting again very soon. But right now, I've <laughs> So you're having regular meetings with the people that oppose, you know, the, the current well, no, regime? I, I, well, they may oppose the current regime. Is it a regime? They, what, yeah. that, Sorry, I'm in oh, the No, all right. I'll edit English. that out. That's my English. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is that even though they are not uh, in control of the so council, I don't know what there are people that are interested in holding the council to account. And yeah, I don't yeah. care whether they wear a blue tie, a red tie or an amber tie. I don't yeah. care yeah. about that. To make but uh, that's, uh, that's that... that situation changed in the last 18 months. Um, I, I, because you're talking about the people that were in charge of that, uh, that, well, that situation yes. for the previous 10 years. Well, well absolutely. But that's the, those are the people that you are obviously uh, communicating with on a regular basis. Well, yes, it is. Uh, I mean, I, I well, yeah, so that, 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 that actually just... answers some of why you're, you're, you're coming across aggressive. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry, I've been here all the time, it's all on camera, he hasn't no, been no. one single bit aggressive. Okay. If anybody gets aggressive and drunk, that'll be one of your councillors yeah, yeah. in the chambers while he's saying certain <laughs> things. No, I appreciate no names no, mentioned, no, 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 he's not aggressive. I've been asking me questions about things that I'm not involved in. Yes, and here then he's in a public to... domain yeah. representing. Well, no, uh, and, uh, and like the previous yeah, person that I was just speaking to just before you arrived. Actually, the leaflets are in my car. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry to interrupt. To the, to the
talk about the field position, not the lady that came before you. Yeah, I don't know the answer to her issue. If you so like taking it away, and I'll, out I'll come back to her. Early blur you week. out on the videos. That's, you know, if you want to blur you out, I will. That's not a problem. Any other political parties doing that? Oh, uh, no. You look 21. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I think this is not the wrong thing to do. Uh, but what I'm also saying... Well, it's not the only thing we're doing, so... Yeah. Well, no, yeah. but, but uh, yeah. as a whole, what I'm looking at is the way that the system works. Now, I'm saying, here, look, at the end of the day, what we've got to say is, you're here, and you're here to answer questions. OK, some of the questions I might be asking at the moment, you cannot answer. I can't answer, so we'll take it away. Uh, and, yeah. and you may take it away. So, yeah. you know, uh, in essence, you're not doing a bad thing, because you're here, you're here uh, waiting for <laughs> your... Uh, <laughs> I appreciate on a, on a that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's but, not the one we've dated, uh, is it? Uh, <laughs> Coffee shops well, no, get a lot of action round here, don't they? <laughs> but I mean, what, 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 uh, what I'm interested in, I, I'm not aligned with any particular political party at all. I, I'm not a member of any political but, party. But you, you admit you have regular meetings with... Uh, the Conservative Party members. Uh, yes, but I also have yeah, met with Sharon Bush and I've also met with uh, the Col and I've also met with uh, various yeah, yeah, people yeah. as well. So it's not. But did, what I'm did, yeah, no, but you did, did you build those meetings with them as well? Uh, one of no, I did the I did the reform Labour tent and all that. Like, I did a lot of coverage of that when Labour Zafran Khan decided to have a go at me. But to be honest, and I'm going to be completely fair, out of all the political parties I've filmed, you two have been absolutely fantastic. You haven't had a go. You haven't got aggressive. You haven't got nasty. But the fact is, you are allowed to film in public, and you're working in a public capacity. Yeah, I'm, you know. Yeah, it's, I know people can be camera but I mean I it's one. going to give yeah. you if you can make it look good for yourselves all the better isn't it yeah no, but you know the day like I said the reason I'm making cancer is because I want to help people and I want to help the borough and, and, and understanding getting that now most of the questions I can't answer straight yeah that's fair enough yeah. yeah but we'll take it away and that's what we'll do mm. I'm more than happy to do that and that's why again that's why we're here and that's why we're making ourselves accessible because others don't. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. uh, look, okay, I've already said it. Almost <laughs> a thank you for being here because nobody else from, from the opposition, so to speak, uh, yeah. to do that. So, yeah. uh, you know, that's definitely a feather in the cap. But um, in terms of moving. You should be buying new coffee and, and tea for being down here, shouldn't they? I will email you back to try and set some hot water bottle. Yeah. Um, and then we can have some further dialogue about how it is that you might be able to uh, be a little bit more um, uh, forceful in holding the, the, the um, yeah. office. You, you also got to remember things don't happen overnight. Uh, I really yeah. appreciate that they don't happen overnight. <laughs> this is something I'd like to appreciate. The good well, if they did. Well, <laughs> it, it took me 10 years to get something done about fire issues uh, okay. in, in tenanted stock. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the council was in denial about the fact that, um, uh, that there was nothing wrong, nothing to see here, etc. And, it took, I, and uh, again, you're making statements I can't I, counter I'm, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, but you're making statements that... I'm not asking you to uh, express. Yeah. No, no, but you're making statements, I which, making statements which, which, I, which then you can say, oh, well, they must agree because I'm, no, I'm, I'm not, not, not that, 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 <laughs> Look, I'm not having a political <laughs> conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that it takes people that, that, that are like me, that are really to be tenacious, to hold the council to account. Yeah. And issues uh, uh, to do with fire safety, for example, yeah. that the, the council were non-compliant yeah. for 16 years. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, OK, did things you, that with the previous leader of the council uh, and, and absolutely, council uh, absolutely. <laughs> yes uh, absolutely this has all been a book ball um, and in the end uh, obviously was that film? sorry was that film uh, well, there were various meetings that were down at the council that were, 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 were filmed, for sure. Right. Yes, uh, which uh, Chris Flannery was a part of, and the last year finally was the that as well. But the, again, the point I'm trying to make, which, uh, with respect, to keep interrupting, is that it takes somebody like me to actually hold the council to account. I don't work for, to do, for him, uh, I work myself. With, with fire safety, which the councillors knew about, but nobody was actually doing anything about. And, you know, I got to the point where I looked at all the fire, uh, the fire assessments, and as a former architect, I don't know what I'm looking at. And in the end, there was so little activity coming from the offices of the council that actually had to report the council to Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service who actually oversee that legislation and it was only at that point in time, some four or five years later, that things happened. So I'm not saying you were involved and I'm not saying you were involved but what I am saying is that when issues like that are raised uh, with officers, it shouldn't take four or five years to get things sorted out. And it means that the councillors should get in and ease the process along and get things done. <coughs> OK, 
<laughs> no, but that, that's what I'm saying. That passion that you're showing should be used in more effectively. That's why I'm saying, why aren't you staying for the, either the borough council or the county council and working out for inside? Because that passion is what needs to do to change things. That's what should be my done. Fear, my fear. You know, you're standing outside of it. You know, it, it, oh, I can achieve things, but it, it, yeah. you'll see how those things are going to be achieved in due course because something very different is going to happen. But I mean, my firm belief is that it, is that number of councils on its knees, and uh, my firm belief is also that it needs to be abolished. Uh, and I think we need to look towards uh, uh, a unitary authority approach. Now, I'm not which, which is, I uh, know the way of Brandon is constantly uh, yeah. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, said, oh, the Irish guy, he's nice yeah. ears, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. but he's been, yeah. he's been, 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 there are things that are going to be surfacing quite soon, which I think are going to alter the direction of travel. Um, because if, if, say, for the sake of argument, I'm not making comments about things politically, I'm making comments about an organisation which is supposed to be looking after a town of approximately 23,000 people over 50. If it's not able to do its job, however it's run politically, if it's not able to function as an organisation which dutifully cares for the people that, uh, that are uh, allegedly looked after by that organisation, then you have to look as to whether or not the organisation will succeed. Because if yeah. you sort of um, look at it in terms of uh, it being a commercial organisation, if, if an organisation that sells whatever it sells doesn't um, provide what the customer needs, then it goes under. Now, the problem with the local authorities, because it's not in the, the, the private sector, it gets to rumble on, failing to do things that it ought to do. Uh, and nobody is going to afford it. I don't agree with you. That's why you can. That's why I'm saying, why aren't you a council? Why aren't you standing? Why are you putting yourself up in front of the public and saying, I'm going to do this, and then doing it? There, there's a whole instead of uh, yeah, well, talking on on YouTube or, or whatever, because that sort of passion you should be using. Uh, I should am be using it, but what I refuse yeah, to do is to get into uh, what, yeah. Alan, Let me just explain. I'll, I'll explain it again. Yeah. What I'm trying to say to you is that the system within which the councils work is 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 not working. Um, I, I, if if I believe. The system of council. So what would you replace it with? Um, I would replace it with, uh, well firstly I would get rid of Mount Borough Council as an answer. Right? And I think it's not worth it. Well, so we would be controlled from Leicester? For, for, well, uh, would we? I don't know. What I'm saying is that well, I that's think there's a lot of... That's what you're saying, is that you want a unitary? Yeah. yeah, I'm saying there's a unitary system of council that's necessarily in Leicester. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm saying that the, what needs to happen is because what's not working is not working. Right? Something has to happen. But I don't believe that I, in joining a system which I already believe doesn't work, that I can make a difference. It's like you asking me, can I make a 1940s car yeah, car stick in a strip Yeah, but what would you I'm replace it with? Because well, you can't say you can't knock something down and say you just get rid of it without knowing what you're going to. Well, well, you've, yes, got to you've got to know where you're going. Well, you've got to know what the replacement is. You've yes. got to understand that and say, how can that, how can that actually help me? How can that actually? Well, I think what we've got to do you know, is got to sorry, prove what, knock something down like the vagrant cells and then replace it with something. Irony. Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. But, but the, the, point, the point that you're, well, the question you're asking is, is what would I replace it with? Well, what I would replace it with is an organisation, however um, it arises, um, which would actually do its job. Now, I can't, like you, I can't answer every question you still to ask me because uh, often things are things that are being developed. Aren't but but, you, but you, have, you actually said, oh, you want to get rid of member accounts, but you haven't said, what do you want to replace it with? What, what so that's what I'm interested in, because okay. I want to know. I, 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 you know, I, I want to know what your opinion is. Okay, yeah. so let me tell you, I'm interested in being in place with an organisation, however constituted, that actually is fit for purpose. Now, how we arrive at that, how we arrive at that may not be known at the moment. Yeah, but that's a, that's a bland statement. I mean, that's just saying, but yeah, I, you know, I joined the council because I want to make it better. Yeah. Oh, I want to make it better. No, you know, just make it say I want to make it better. I don't mean, not better. So, no. I'm just saying I want to make it better. This is how I want the model work. This is how I think I should be represented. Well, I mean, you know, the, that's the, the, the way I want. The first thing that people have to identify when change is required is the fact that change is required. Okay. Yeah. Once, once the right question starts to be asked, then you get a little bit closer to what the right answer is. Right. Now, I'm starting from the coach, having looked at that body council for the 30, 10 years, okay, and seen its failures in various different ways, and the way that councillors of whatever. But never wanted to get involved with it. But I did get involved. I explained to you. I had Excuse a meeting down at St John's Court, and I, I involved myself in three conversations with people. In, 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 that, as often as they were supposed to be doing something about it. And I keep, keep, I keep seeing uh, and having these conversations with their officers, and I don't see anything happening. And also, the fact that there are other things. I watched YouTube uh, 
as the gas is. And also, the CO2 stuff that is, 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 there's a lot of talk going on, but there's actually not a lot of chat. And because of the people that I know and have conversations outside of this kind of arena and in, 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 in my private uh, realm, um, I also know that there's a lot of lots of things that are, uh, are not going on that should be going on. So, my, my premise now is that I accept and understand that the council is there to do a certain thing, but I also now ever so much more aware of the fact that the whole system is in now, well, I, I, I can't agree with any of those statements and I can't allow you just to say them and let me well, let, you, let you, you go by. To, you don't have to allow. No, 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 what I'm saying, so no, not what I'm saying is that I can't let you say it and then me not respond and sort of say, I don't agree with it. It's, it's, I'm not saying it's brilliant, I'm saying it's the best in the world. You asked me a question, so yeah, I'm answering it. No, but you're not answering it. I am answering it. No, you're not. You're not. When I, I, I asked the question I asked was, what do you want to replace it with? Well, that's what I'm saying is that's a work in progress. You cannot get to the point where you say, I want to replace something unless you thoroughly and, uh, and properly understand what yeah. it is that but you want to I can't throw my car away because I don't like it and not without thinking about well, what do I want to do? Do I need a car? What, what does the car need to look yeah, like? Do I need a bus to... What, you've got to have an idea of where we're going. You can't just come in and say, oh, it's broken, get rid of it. You've got to actually say, how do you want to improve it? How do you want to move it forward? Well, that, what that, would better represent you? What would well, better that, represent the people? What, what I'm trying to explain to you, you're the greatest good of the world. But you're not. I'm just explaining it now. What I'm trying to say is in order to identify what might replace what we know is broken, we have to know how the thing that is broken got broken. Right? What we have to ask, we have to go back to first principles and say, what is it that this council is failing at? And then look at what it is that might better replace it. And that's, like you said only a moment ago, you can't change things overnight. And I'm no. suggesting that you're right. No. But you're asking me to be definitive about what I would replace it with when but I've not fully concluded my investigation. But you, but you, you, you but also you, said you've been doing this for 10 years. Yeah. And you find that exactly and if, if things are broken, what are your suggestions to replace those broken bits? Or is something you can sweep up and do something entirely different? That would be extremely worthwhile if you have to come back with that. Arrange some type of meeting or something? Without that. Well, what sort of meeting are you using? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just asking for you. You said you've all these different things. We need something tangible to grab a hold of, to say actually, well, we know that there's a problem here, we know there's a problem there, perceived problem here, whatever. Until we have that, and then you, if you say you wanted something different, what do you want that's different? How, how, are, you going, how are you going to address the and, and that you've been, to be broken? But you've been saying you've been looking at this for 10 know. years. Yes, so, so, so if, you, if you come back you've, with something, you've got, we can actually yeah. think, oh, actually, yes, there's some, there's some merit in that. We could actually then have some honest discussions. At the moment, it's all what ifs, perhaps maybe's. We don't have enough time to work out with it. Like but that's how everything starts, isn't it? Is an F or a maybe? We need something so, to say, actually, yes, let's work together. And that's clutching at straws, really, in my opinion. I would really respect that. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Look, I understand what it is that you're asking for, and I, I'm not in disagreement with it. But what I'm trying to say to you is that, that I have little faith that things will move further forward. I mean, you've been a council for many, many years, to my understanding, haven't you? Yeah, I was with the Conservatives. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm um, not going to go into that. <laughs> no, no, no. I can no. tell you... No, no, no. Yeah, I'm sure you want to hear it. Well, no, I'm sure that it's not. But uh, I mean, in order for us to, to get uh, to some progress made, I think what we have to do is, is I you know, certainly have to conclude my investigations because there's a number of things that I'm looking at. I need to have other dialogue with other people to try and determine uh, what it is that might be put forward. Okay, and, and then when we've got Shall something I? that is tangible, which is what you're asking for, and legitimately so, oh, I think it's a relevant, an entirely relevant question, then what we can do is we can have a conversation about it. So, yeah, we've already offered, yeah, more than happy to sit down in the meeting. So because I like said, anybody who's got the passion that you've got, we want the ideas. Yeah. So it's nice to see people with passion as well, isn't oh, absolutely. it? Absolutely. I mean, you know, if, if you didn't have people with passion, stuff wouldn't get changed. Well, well, I, so, but to, I want to use that in a positive way. Oh. You can't just use it to, to knock things down. That's, that's what I'm saying. Well, you, 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 I'm happy to knock things down as long as I know what it's going to get replaced by. Well, the thing is that, I mean, uh, okay, I'm quite full of the that, that's been out of a sense of uh, frustration and also out of a sense of realising that the, the ideas that I want to get across uh, sometimes skate across um, officers' eyes 
you know, and, and I can see that they're not they've got other sure. pressures, they've got other I'm not, issues, etc. Et well, I mean, they're yeah. paid to do the job, uh, yeah, yeah. in fairness. So whatever pressure they've got, what we signed up for is that they do no work somewhere else, you know. Uh, uh, but the fact is that... It's a very enlightened attitude we're going yeah. well, <laughs> well, I mean, oh, and I don't, private I don't sector, really that's the way it works. Well, sorry, I'm, I'm, like I said, said, this is the first time I've been involved in politics. I've worked yeah, yeah, well, in the fully yeah, for yeah, my right. 45 years of career in the commercial world, the very commercial world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm a photographer. Whereas at the council, I know offices down there that are failing in their duty. I, I, I think out, it's wrong to talk about yeah. individual offices. I, you know, I can't. I you know, it's, it's unfair. I didn't make a, a, an individual no, no, office no, no. responsible. No, I was stopping I said, before I get there. Well, I wasn't going to. Yeah. I'm saying generally the offices that I know down there that I, I, I think shouldn't be. Anyway. So the conclusion of you've come back to us with you know, outline of what's wrong, what's wrong, how you can, how you can perhaps proceed to, to fix it. And we can then have a meeting. Well, I can certainly uh, provide you. What I'll do is I'll send you an email uh, with a series of bullet points on which I might like discuss with you. Um, and uh, I'd like your views on the way to take those forward as well. Yeah. 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 It's okay, that's wrong, this is wrong. But what's your opinion on how to fix it? Yeah. How can we fix it? I say completely. Look, I, <laughs> I, 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 well, uh, yes, uh, and, uh, just on, just to touch upon that, for example, to bring things in to fix it, I think what Mountain World Council does is it relies on too many external agencies uh, that have nothing whatsoever to do with me. Now, what my belief is, as a meltation, okay, I've not lived here all my working life, because I've been people that didn't come to practice for 15 years in Bath, for example. So I'm, I've come back, um, you know, to, to look after now relative some time ago uh, and so but, but, but the point I'm trying to make in this part of the, the conversation is the fact that there is a, a great many talented people in Melton and, and I don't see why it is that Melton Borough Council's senior officers who neither of them live in Melton Borough uh, the first thing that they look to do is to look to some kind of big external consultants to come in and solve our problems we have loads of architects in, uh, in Melton and this Borough who would be very interested in I think involving themselves in um, a design collective which would start to look at the ways that the urban fabric is in the town, for example, at the moment, and say, what is, what is it that we can do which makes it a more vibrant place in terms of architecture? And, but they're not willing to get involved with the current groups, yeah. like MAD or, or uh, not MAD, um, Heritage Group, Heritage group uh, sort of things, so, to, to, to push that forward. Well, uh, are, are they only interested in making like, their own commercial group? No, it's not. No, it's not even got that far ahead. What I'm trying to say yeah. is, for me, if I if I were um, either, I'm not going to be a council, but if I was in the CEO's position, for example, rather than looking to use an external con consultant for things to do with Melton, the first thing I would be doing is what what local talent have we got? Right? That's what I'm saying. And and it, it, indeed, it, the same uh, thing exists for, for local businesses. People should have faith in and be using local businesses rather than. Uh, change that belong elsewhere. Um, and you see, the thing is, uh, if we, if, if we as, as a town and the borough, we don't start to look to ourselves and stop bickering amongst ourselves, that's what really, really gets me. I look at these council meetings and I think, you all need to start. Whoops. You know, it's bickering, bickering, bickering. And you're arguing that the, the person up. that's got the blue tie is right and the person that's got the yellow scarf is wrong, etc., etc. And what we need is people to stop having political squabbles and actually say, what is the nature of the problem? Clearly identify what the problem is. And how to get yeah. proper, clear identification of the problem. Political I could, I could not agree more. And that's why, that's why I'm an independent council. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I didn't mean to do that. Because the, 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 the political agreements that yes. go on, Absolutely. and they're coming from a particular area, yeah. that you've already said you're a, you may or may not have regular meetings with. That's what drives me crazy about it. I agree with you on the council meetings. <laughs> Anytime anybody brings up a political point or follows a political party, they are not doing the borough the service they should be. Uh, they're not doing what they are voting for. Uh, so yeah. I'm not, I, I, I need it to make it clear in answer to one of your earlier questions. I have no political allegiance. What I'm, architects are problems, aren't they? Right? Yeah. Either 
if you look into me and said, I, I want you to come and design me X, Y, and Z. My job is not to say, well, I'll employ that structural engineer out there because he votes to it. Or, or I'll uh, no, it's, no, it's, yeah. it's to do no, with the fact. I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen. Well, of course it doesn't happen. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say to you is that people make their decisions not based on whether or not a potential solution is good, bad, or anything. They make their decisions based on what's good the allegiance they've got. And it's fundamentally wrong. It's a stupid, stupid thing to do. We, we, um, we fully I'm agree with you, so that's why we're independent. Well, yeah. <laughs> but what yeah, I, some but, of us you know, and that's why when we have a group meeting, when we have a group meeting, yeah. it's not about it's what individual like individual. Individual. None of us are actually whipped in or whatever. I I vote the way I want to vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I do what I want to do, I say what I want to do. Which everybody's entitled to do. Yeah, just exactly. so many people can know if that. You, if you're if you're trying to follow like you're saying a political party and trying to make a political point, you're not doing the borough service. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I'm not. I, I, yes, no, I'm not saying, saying you. I'm saying others. Yeah. I, 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 I will have. Very I, much, I, yeah. I don't mind having conversation yeah. with people yeah. of yeah. 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 different political views if that's the way that their mind works. But what I will not do is I will not sit down in a room and have a discussion about identifying the nature, the true, genuine nature of the problem, yeah. and the political buns start flying across. Yeah. Well, the no, but I mean, that to me, is, it's, it's, it basically is prevention of uh, uh, arriving absolutely, at a solution. Absolutely agree. Which is why it's because <coughs> you don't actually see. Did you see the council meetings which are on the, 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 uh, the rest of it. But all the workshops we have where there is representatives from every party those that attend because there are some that don't attend so because of a political point they won't attend the, 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 the it tells when he's been drunk driving and driving yeah. home but the, you know, they're the ones where well we're I've been asked to ask the question so sorry, doing exactly what you're so. about a man drink driving that could kill somebody I think I can ask as many questions as I like personally but no. Don't you have sorry, an opinion thought, on it I then? I thought we were having a, a really good I sorry. conversation there. I don't yeah, know what yeah. the question was. So. Yeah. That was one of my questions, sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry yeah. Mr. Considered, so, I do I mean, apologise. You know, yeah. Funny what you're saying, I fully agree with you. Politics should have no place in that cat, in that chamber. Yeah, you know, and the, the workshops that we have, the work, the really effective work that we're doing, is where all parties... Well, well it's... Uh, I mean, well, I, no, I, you can't can can pull this or yeah. can I find out more about what? it? There, there are workshops that we, we have a particular sort of task and finish groups that will look at a particular piece of work and scrutiny work on them. Yeah. And they all get, everybody gets together, they come in with different ideas and at some point there is a middle thread. Yeah. Was the one held at Pera the other day, I believe? Sorry. Was the one held at no. Pera the other day? Or there was a group or something else? I mean, I mean that's why you don't see them, because there's, there's yeah. probably ten a week sort of thing on different different groups. So you know, has so the same mindset, we come in with different ideas yeah. and then... You have put your faith, well, whoever you put your faith in, to a council to represent you. We speak to everybody and we gather all the information in and then we come to the meetings and say, right, well, so and so mentioned this, so and so mentioned that. But, you know, there's some areas want this and, and we bring all that to the table. Okay, so and that's so. how we get to a decision. That's how we get to a decision. And then that's yes, where the, all, the all the so-called political parties match in. They work together and they do something productive. And that's, that's the one I'm talking about. Well, you, you know, using your your passion to say, how do we move that forward? How do you, how do you help? You don't want to be elected, but, uh, which I fully understand. <laughs> but, you know, but it's, you know, taking people's views, again, that's why we're here. The different people we talk to, I'd like to personally say a big thank you to both of you for talking to Mr. Considered here. It's uh, yeah. it's a start of something that could be a I good thing. Yeah. <laughs> I will email you both. Yeah. Uh, and see if we can't get the no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, yeah. to um, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. in, in terms of um, thank you very much. Things that, are, that happen behind closed doors. Um, uh, my concern about that is, is really due to the fact that by the time the ideas that have been collected by people that are on the ground are actually come. Yeah. So I'm going to back off a little bit now, people, yeah. from the conversation as I'm independent. Yeah. And Mr. Considered doing his thing, asking some yeah. very difficult questions, but ones that need to be answered or at least Sorry. debated about. No. No. So yeah, it's been uh, something positive comes out of it. We've got reform, 
over, I think, the reform over there. So we'll see if Mr. Considered wants to go over and ask them some questions as well whilst we're here. Is that, um, is that by the time really, really good ideas get to those meetings, it's going to be a 10 minute meeting. Um, and, and, and the problem is, and I'm not pointing fingers here and not being nasty by councillors, but um, I'm certainly not being nasty about that. But what I'm trying to say is that in order for a good idea to make it to that room, right, it just, if they go through a fog, yeah. they're not going to get there. No, no, but what you should be asking, the person you voted for, how have they actually input into those meetings? How are they representing you? You should be asking. You know, the, There's more well, locals coming well, up soon, isn't there? Local people, elections and stuff. The is there some um, votes yeah, coming up so soon is, next yeah, year? Everybody should be saying, well, if I don't know, right, I didn't know that. To my what are you doing? Well, well, that's why, that's why I don't do and politics. Do. I'm talking about yeah, everybody. <laughs> well, it's, a, yes. it's a general thing. So you should be saying, oh, is my council working for me? I know my council is not working for me, so I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry about that guys, it's getting a little bit windy. And my gimbal tends to play up in the wind a little bit. Mr Considered, um, quick question for you Mr Can I ask you a question Mr Considered? Would you like to go and ask Reform any questions over there? I think that's something we can do, but I'm going to need fuel I think before. <laughs> So what I'll do is, thank you you two, it's been absolutely fantastic, I will edit it so it makes you look good, I could put some love hearts around your... Can you make me look about 20 stone lighter? Oh, bless you. So hopefully something positive is going to come out size 12, yeah. And thank you for talking on camera, I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to back off a little bit guys and let Mr Consider go and uh, do his thing because my gimbal's playing up a little bit. And what we're going to do is pause the video, grab a coffee. Street switch photography.